Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aquarius? Wherever you have Aquarius in your chart, this could be for Aquarius Stellium or Aquarius Jupiter. What do we have for Aquarius for the week ahead? 22nd through the 20th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid. This is just a message that I am picking up on. What do we have for Aquarius? One card, please. Oh, there it is. Nope, financial constraints. You may be dealing with some financial constraints this week. When you're dealing with somebody that is, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. It looks like to me that the cupboards are bare. You know, when the cupboards are bare, there's an issue. So you could be dealing with somebody that isn't uh, putting in their, their fair share, or you're just not getting the rewards or the, the payouts that you're expecting. Or maybe you overspent or something like that. I do believe that you are probably needing to save money. You probably need to focus on where you spend your money this week. Don't waste your money. Make it last. Um, all is well. You're going to be fine because 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 is all is well. If you are struggling financially, perhaps you need to be more careful with your money. Really be careful with your money this week because that's something that I feel a strong desire to tell you. Um, so what do we have for Aquarius? I actually feel like things are going to get better for you. Maybe that's where you've been. Um, what do we have for Aquarius? Spend your money wisely. That's something I, you know, be careful with your money. There we go. We got three of them. Ooh, interesting. Fox, shrewdness and resource, resourcefulness, especially in business. So yes, you definitely need to be careful with your money. Rose, romance is in the air. You may be getting flowers. You may be getting a lot of love from people around you. Whale, great worry over nothing. So yes, I, you know, I feel like you're worried. Maybe you're worried about your money. I think that you have enough to survive. I think that you have plenty, actually. But you may overspend. You know, be care don't don't waste your money this week. Save your money. Think before you spend your money. Okay. Be shrewd. You know. Maybe maybe you just need to you know live with a little bit less. What do we have for Aquarius? The main message I get from that is save your money. Don't spend it impulsively. Do not spend your money impulsively during this week. You can make a bad decision, you know. So just be careful with your money. What do we have for Aquarius? High Priestess Reverse. Now, the High Priest Secrets. Secrets coming out this week. You, there's going to be some secrets. You could be dealing with somebody that is having financial constraints. It may not be you. This could be somebody that is interested in you, you know, and they've been keeping a secret. Maybe they haven't approached you because of their own financial constraints. This is somebody that may, they may even be intimidated by you. I feel like uh, you, you're dealing, I feel like your person, I think, I don't feel like it could be you, but I, I, I really don't feel like it's you. If it is you, you need to be careful with who, the, who you are dealing with. Make sure they are not after you for your money. Okay? There is some sort of secret that is about to be revealed this week. Okay? Now, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, that's in your past. You may have you may have been dealing with somebody in your past that may have been angry with you. They may have been, 
abrasive or assertive towards you, you may have fought with this person. You may have pushed this person away. This person may have made you very, very angry. I feel, I feel like there is somebody around you that may have deserted you. You know, they may have gotten angry with you or, you know, they went in a different direction. They turned their back on you. If it, it feels, and I don't know who this person is. It could be anybody. I feel like this person is going to be expressing their feelings towards you. They may be expressing their feelings because they're struggling. They're struggling financially. Maybe they need your help. Um... I feel like you need to, and maybe you're going to be on the defensive. You may, maybe you don't trust this person anymore. There is somebody, I feel like there is somebody around you that has betrayed you in some way. They've lied to you. They didn't tell you the truth. You know that they weren't telling you the truth. They may have cost you some money in the past. There could be some bitterness here. You know, I feel like somebody is going, maybe you're going to get an apology. And I don't say that lightly because a lot of people don't know how to apologize. I do believe that you're going to be receiving, somebody's going to be in their feelings over you. They may be expressing their feelings to you. Uh, they have feelings for you. They don't want to be alone. Maybe they've made a poor decision based on financial reasons, you know, and now maybe, you know, they're going to be taking action towards you now. I do believe that there is somebody that has been hiding something. This is somebody that has been keeping a secret. And I feel like they've been uh, combative towards you in the past. So I, I do believe that there is somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings to, towards you. But you need to be careful. You're going to need to listen to your gut. Really, really, really listen to your gut. You say, you're getting an offer from somebody. You are. I mean, I feel like you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... Somebody wants a fresh start with you. They want to start with a clean slate. And, and they may ask you to start over. They may ask for you to know, have faith in them, to believe in them. This is somebody that may be traveling to your destination. They're coming out of nowhere. I do believe this comes out of nowhere. I do. This person has is willing to leave it behind. They may ask you to leave it behind. They may ask you to, to, you know, can we just start from the beginning? Can we just start over? You know, I was stupid. You know, I, I didn't, I made the poor, I made a poor choice. I, I didn't know what I wanted. You know, I wasn't listening to my gut. You know, I made a poor choice. I do believe that somebody is going to approach you. They're going to come out of nowhere. They've been staying behind the scenes. Ah, oh, moving. Somebody may have moved or, the, or somebody is moving towards you. You know, this is making a move, moving. Uh, so I'm not sure if somebody is traveling because I see traveling a couple times. They're in a hurry. I feel like there is somebody that is in a hurry. They, they really uh, want to express themselves. They may be trying to get out of a troublesome situation. Maybe now they see something in you. They want to come help you. They may say that they want to help you. You know, whoever this person is has been troubled, you know, and it feels like they're, they're coming in your direction. They, they, may want, they may say, you know, I'm, I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to protect you, you know, but I feel like whoever this person is, they may have their own agenda. You know, they have feelings for you. Yes, I believe they have feelings or something like they care for you or something or they're in their feelings about you. And I do believe that they're headed in your direction. Somebody is headed in your direction. And they come out of nowhere. They do. This is somebody that is looking for romance. And they're probably looking for some sort of stability as well because of that financial constraints. I do think this is somebody that you know. They may want a reconciliation. They may want another chance. Somebody is going to want you to give them another chance. They, might want to, they may want to resurrect something that is dead. You know, that has died. I feel like the, you are going to have to make a judgment call. There is some truth that is coming out this week. Somebody is definitely going to be expressing their feelings. And they haven't been able to because they're intimidated. They're probably intimidated by what you know. You know, I feel like this person has turned their back on you in the past. Now they're very troubled. They're experiencing financial problems. And uh, they, want a, they want another chance. So somebody is gonna is going to um, 
probably ask for forgiveness. This is forgiveness. So I do believe that this week you're going to be presented. I feel like you're going to be presented with an offer from somebody that wants you to give them another chance. And this could be love. It could be a friend. It could be a business opportunity. It's somebody that uh, turned their back on you in the past. Now this person is ready to move forward. They're ready to take a new approach. They want to take a new approach. And they want you to have faith in them. So this week, there is you're going to have to make a judgment call. You're going to have to use your gut. You're going to have to listen. Somebody wants you to give them another chance. Good luck.